What is up guys, Del Boy here, hope you guys are doing well. A quick video for a Patreon by the name of Matt Heisman. He asked me the question, My well he basically asked my thoughts on the increasing size of heavyweights and not only that, the fact that a lot of fighters now are cutting more weight to, you know, get an edge, to get into divisions where they have clear size advantages and things like that. And I felt the question was quite interesting and I wanted to share my thoughts on the matter. I mean, in regards to the heavyweights, I really don't think there's much or anything sinister about it. You know, in Western countries, uh, people seem to be getting taller, they seem to be getting bigger. And as a result, we're getting bigger heavyweights in the uh, turn of the century. Not only that, you know, if you're six foot seven, six foot eight, and you've had a sporting background, you can still turn to boxing fairly late and make a success of it. I mean, just look at Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, for example. I think Deontay Wilder picked up boxing at nearly 20 years old, and Anthony Joshua picked up boxing at 18. So if you're a big, tall guy, big, strong guy with an athletic background, then you can take up uh, boxing late and still be successful in the heavyweight division. And on top of that, you know, people these days are just getting taller, they're getting bigger. And I think that's the main reason why in the 21st century heavyweights are a lot bigger than yesteryear. I really don't think there's anything sinister behind that. I just think that is what it is really. But in regards to fighters cutting more weight to get down into divisions where maybe they shouldn't really be, I mean, that could be down to a whole host of things. The first being better sports science, you know, better dietitians, uh, better guys to manage weight cuts and whatnot. Maybe more knowledge and research has been done into that area. So weight cutting these days is a lot more effective than it was back in the day. I think that's a possibility. And in some cases, I'm sure that's the case. But on the flip side, you could be more sinister and say, well, maybe there's more substances to help you cut weight in 2019. You know, better diuretics than there was back in the day. I mean, you just look at guys like Chavez Jr., for example. I mean, when he was making middleweight back in the day, like in 2012, 2011, the guy was cutting an enormous amount of weight. And how he made that weight cut is beyond me. I think that's more than sports science, you know. I think that's more than getting a good dietitian. I really do believe there were diuretics involved and God knows what else. I mean, look at some of the uh, backstory into Chavez Jr.'s uh, early career, missing drug tests and things like that. I'm sure Chavez Jr. was taking something to make him cut weight and get down to 160 because, you know, in recent years, he's not been able to get close to 160 really. And yeah, it's beyond me how that guy managed to make that weight cut. I, I honestly don't believe that was through hard work, diet, and uh, things like that. I believe that guy had some help to get down to 160. That's just my opinion. Maybe he did it honestly and legitimately, but I can't really see it. And I think in 2019, in all areas, you know, illegal substances to make weight to enhance performances are a lot more effective and they are a lot more easy to hide. You know, when one substance gets banned, there's another substance that, you know, is found and used by elite level athletes. And I believe that, that is a reason for guys cutting enormous amounts of weight to get into divisions where they don't really belong. You know, that, that's got to be a real possibility. I'm sure some guys out there do it in a in a legitimate way but you know there's other guys out there who I'm sure are taking some type of diuretic to help them cut weight I mean Canelo Alvarez for example I mean that accusation has been labeled at him for quite some time you know about weight cutting rehydrating things like that you know there's a lot of fighters out there who are very suspect and uh, yeah I, I wouldn't be surprised if um, PEDs and diuretics are a big part of this uh, weight cutting phenomenon to be quite honest you know some of the weight these guys rehydrate to is uh unreal if you ask me Jarrett Hurd another example 
The guy is huge. I mean, he looks like a super middleweight fighting at 154. How that guy cuts all of that weight is beyond me, to be quite honest. And I've heard a couple of rumours to say that his fight with Julian Williams was VAR detested. Now, I'm not, I'm not sure whether that's true, but he didn't look as good. He looked flat, he looked unenergetic, and all in all, he, lo he looked quite poor. If he was tested by VADA, did that have something to do with it? Again, I'm not throwing any accusations out there, but, you know, it's got to, you, you, at the same time, you have to ask that question, you know? But yeah, I think in 2019, I think a lot of these guys are making weight by um, unethical means, let's just say that much. I mean, look at Billy Joe Saunders, another example. Look at the uh, substance he got banned for. Just read up on it. And uh, all of a sudden, this guy's moving up to 168. Maybe he can't make middleweight anymore. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, in terms of guys cutting weight, of course, uh, the dietitians are getting better. Sports science is getting better. But at the same time, you know, PEDs, illegal drugs, they are also getting better and getting harder to trace. So in regards to the weight cutting issue, that's my whole two cents on that uh, scenario. But yeah, share your thoughts below. I'm actually intrigued to hear your guys' thoughts on this uh, topic. I thought it was really interesting, to be quite honest with you. And shout out to the Patreon, Matt Heisman. Uh, thank you for the question. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Share your thoughts below. Peace.